how are you friends? Ah, it's you're seeing me for the first time, but this is the second time I'm doing this today because I accidentally was logged into the theater I volunteers at YouTube page. Uh, the whole like Gmail icon uh, and YouTube icon, it could, got me confused. I thought I was in the right place and I wasn't. And then nobody was tuning in and I was like, wow, maybe my Me6 box is broken and I don't know, I was very confused. <laughs> So hopefully y'all will be logging on here in a minute. I might still go ahead and share the link because I don't know if Me6 is working. It was a little spotty the other day. So I was trying to bring it up on my phone and <laughs> hi Jonas. <laughs> I accidentally just went live on the Barnstormers YouTube. Whoops. Today's painting is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the No Man's Sky game recently had an update that brightened all the lighting in the game, particularly the fissure planet uh, glitches. So there's these rock formations that burst out light, um, and who knows the physics of that, but <laughs> we're going to paint it. Hi, Scottish Rod. Thanks for hopping on. So nice to have you both here. Jonas, Scottish Rod, Scottish Rod, Jonas. Now you know each other. Glam Madfish, I know. So yeah, I had, uh, well, had an interview for the television today. Um, they didn't come. So I put on all this makeup for not, because I normally, you guys normally see me just like plain me, unpainted. I am painted today as well as doing a painting. So there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently the local fires were more important than the amazing virtual play that we're putting on, so. There you go. That's news for you. Um, get these little notifications out of the way. Awesome. So you're here. If you're following along at home, uh, either today or in the future, you'll need a palette to put your paint upon. You'll want a cup of water to rinse your brushes. And you'll want brushes. And the colors we're working with, you'll want a white and a black. And we're just doing some cool tones today. So I have two different color blues and uh, darker blue, lighter blue, and a purple. So that's our palette today and the colors we're going to use. We're also going to use a very special tool, some tape. And I'm using duct tape. You would ideally have some masking tape at home. That would be way better for your canvas um, and for the whole process. But this is all I have. Masking tape is on the bottom of the list and just, we haven't got it yet. So we're gonna make do. And we're gonna actually use that first. So I've got these long strips, but we don't want them to be that long. So I'm gonna maybe try to put this into three pieces. So let's see if I can do that without too much issue. All right, so we're gonna affix these to our canvas. And you want to try to get it as smooth down as you can. Whoop. See, masking tape wouldn't do this. Have little hairy hairs that sometimes occur. So, and you don't want them to be all in a line. You want to kind of stagger the height of them. but they are all gonna be vertical. Really smooth out your tape and make sure it is adhesed to your canvas on all of its edges. So I have two pieces Let's see if we can't make four out of this one. They'll be a little shorter, perhaps.
trying to do little odd clumpings of them as well. All right, so we have our tape on the canvas. Next, you'll want to bring out your blues, uh, the dark blue and purple and black. Hi, Galarac. Galarac's here. Good to see you. Thanks for hopping on. So blue on your palette and purple. And some black, you'll want some black out on your palette as well. So you'll take a big brush because we're going to do our background basically. And oh gosh, I didn't even bother. Uh, I'm gonna go to Discord and pull up the inspiration photo for today. If you ever wanna be my inspiration, you can go to my Discord and post in the NMS screenshots channel on my Discord. And that's often where I go and get my inspiration from. So this one was posted by Magic Within uh, and I do believe this is after the new update because the you can see that the light fissures are super, super bright. Oop. There you go. That's the inspiration painting for today. You got to go to my Discord if you want to see it in its full color without reflections on it. Uh, but yeah. So this is our inspiration photo. We're not trying to replicate it. Obviously, if we were, we would have a whole lot more of these lines. But we're going to sort of have this idea going on. So, first, we're going to do like a strip of uh, like kind of a cloudy blue and then some black and then some more blue and then finish off with some purple down here. So up in the corner, up here, we'll do like a scumbly cloud of blue. Clark, not sure how long I'll last. Still feeling really icky at the moment. Oh, Galarac, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. I'm just gonna kind of, this is almost a cloud shape in the night sky. So that's why I'm using our scumbling technique so the brush strokes will kind of look a little fluffy. And you can paint right on top of your tape. Alrighty, and then we will repeat this kind of scumbling down in here. I like to paint the edges of these thicker canvases so that you can hang them up in your home without a frame.
I just love Fisher Planets. The first one I went to, I was so in awe. My jaw literally dropped open. All right, cool. So we're gonna switch to black. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this brush out. It's a good brush, I'm gonna keep using it. And squeeze out the water and get the excess off on your paper towel. There's still a little blue left in it. That's okay, because I'm just gonna switch to black, which is very powerful. It'll overpower anything. And we're going to scumble that in, in this band we left here. And it's okay if uh, the black sort of mingles with the blue at the edges. Dimash, hello. Kev B1, hi. Thanks for coming to the painting stream. Don't forget to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, good old Bob Ross. Certainly, you know. <laughs> yeah, beat the devil out of it when you're rinsing it off in the water. But fortunately, since we're not working with oils, we don't have to deal with any of that kind of toxic chemical because he's rinsing that off in like um, turpentine or something something very uh, corrosive to clean those brushes. Beat the hell out of it, I just love it. We would have to change that to like beat the sentinel out of it, right? And I might come back with some more of that blue because I like how that uh, the black and blue are mingling a little bit. But this edge got a little um, dull and boring, super straight over here. So I'm going to bring some of that uh, blue back. There we go. Now that edge is a little, a little more clean so that the blue is actually billowing into the black rather than the black billowing into the blue. Awesome. Now, right at the bottom of the blue, I'm going to give a little more wet paint to that area because then we're going to come back in with purple and make the purple and blue friends. Oh, 
I already got some purple on my brush. And that's just fine. Let's see. What's my new cry? Dimash's new battle cry. Oh my gosh, you guys are blowing up the chat. What do we got to say here? <laughs> uh, well, Joan, Scottish Rock, Gellark, and Kev. Hello. Hey, Dimash and Kev B. OMG, a woman. Yes. <laughs> Jonas says, Howdy, Dimash. Hi, Kev. Well, please, Dimash's new battle cry? What is the new battle cry? Beat the Sentinel out of it. That's right. Beat the Sentinel out of it. In tribute to Bob Ross. <laughs> when hand combating sentinels. No way. I'm happy that you don't have care infection. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, now I've got long hair. Not going to cut it. <laughs> Where do we find the Discord server for Madfish Bagpipe? Here you go. Thanks, Scottish Rod. Thank you for throwing those links in there, both Scottish Rod and Dimash. Donkey. Jonas says, yay. <laughs> One sec, Jonas. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right. So, whoa, man. This painting today, I'm so glad you guys all turned out because I'm paying tribute to the new update with the bright, bright lighting and how those fissures are just popping off the planets nowadays. And our, um, you can see the OG inspiration photo in the Discord under NMS screenshots. So that's, you've got a quick glance there. Just doesn't look as good holding it up like that and the bright sunlight reflecting off my phone. So go check that out. Also post some of your own images so you can inspire the next painting. Guys, Magic Within has got a monopoly because he's always posting. <laughs> and uh, I did see a really good one on a black hole from Scottish Rod, I believe you did put one up recently. And I will definitely be using that soon. I just had this idea. I wanted to do the light fissures and use tape. We, this stuff, this is not paint. This is tape, duct tape. In fact, if you're at home and you have masking tape, I definitely recommend that over this. So I'm just getting this bottom piece of the blue um, with some good wet paint again so we can blend with the purple really easily. But it needs to not be dry paint. We need some good wet paint. So don't be shy, you can, I'm almost ladling paint. I've got a huge scoop of paint on my brush. Don't be shy, we are blending. We want lots of good juicy wet paint for blending. And we are blending with a stumbling motion today. So that's how I'm making these little circles, just like to brush your teeth. So it's nice and juicy. Then we'll grab the purple. I'm not even gonna wash out my brush. I'll just grab purple on the blue brush and start to scumble those together. Man, and purple and blue, they have no trouble blending together. They are made to be friends because you can't make purple without blue. And the motion of the stumbling gives this texture and this purple area is like the ground. Up there's the sky. And so that stumbling works for both. 
depending on the effects you're going for. And since I'm trying to paint this on the edges so that we can hang it with no frame, I'm just going to lift up the bottom to catch the under edge. So we've got our background pretty much done. And this is a little lighter over there. It's almost needing like a second coat of blue. So let's see if we can't give it a little more pizzazz over here. The other really beautiful thing that these fissure planets have are those wispy glowing tendrils that also float up from the surface. Like uh, they look almost like Northern Lights or something, but they're coming from the ground and not from the sky. So we're gonna throw some of those in here while this is still kind of wet with the lighter blue. So I've got this pretty color. You won't need too much of this color. And I'm going to go with a round brush, still kind of a bigger one, but we're going to um, be a little more specific and um, intentional about the sweeping motions we make with this. The scumbling, I'm just, bah, 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 you know, you can blend, 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 and not really care where the strokes are going as long as they're in little circles. And this time, this is have a, has a little more form to it. Hi, Jilly Dad. Welcome to the chat. I went to mesh. Where's my sweets? <laughs> Have you ever painted with oils? Um, no. <laughs> no. I, I love watching Bob Ross do his work, and I haven't ever followed along to try. I think I own oil paints that were um, given to me from someone's grandmother's collection, and I'm a little scared to try. It just seems so much more complex. <laughs> um, but I want to try. It's definitely on my bucket list. Munching on sweets. <laughs> I painted the driveway with engine oil once. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> yeah, no, not that kind of oil. Uh, oil paint can be blended for literally days. Yeah, this is what I've heard. You know, that it just doesn't dry very quickly at all. So you can really work with it and mold it for a long time. Great for a masterpiece. Um, I like acrylics because they dry so much faster. And if you make a mistake, you just wait for it to dry and you can paint anything over on top of it. Um, but yes, I definitely would like to almost even take a class because watching Bob Ross is one thing. Executing Bob Ross is another. <laughs> and you got to have a special table where you can beat the hell out of it. <laughs> or the devil? No, the devil. <laughs> Briefly able to listen. Hello, hello, darling. So, like I said, we're gonna do some wispy with this light blue. So let's do a little bit of wispiness coming out over here. Okay, and then do some more in this direction. I know that they don't really do this curly Q thing on the planets themselves, but I'm having fun with it too. I think there's even like 
uh, kind of almost wispiness that goes through these tendrils. So you can kind of do some feeling almost like it's wind, like it's being swept up from the surface and out into the atmosphere. Cool. Do just a tiny bit more. So, I want to let that dry for just a minute. And the next brush we want, I'm just going to use a medium sized brush. This is a flat and square. It should have a nice, like, clean edge on some part of your brush. Because the fit, the rock formations that the fissures of light come out of have those little um, thin, they look like a top almost, and they come to a point on the edges. So we want to be able to make a point if we're using the brush in the right direction. Who's here? Moose is here. <laughs> it's actually easier to paint with oils. Do it. If you make a mistake, just wipe it off. Wow. I suppose I shouldn't be nervous about it, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I've got to dig out those oil paints though, and I'm not totally sure where they are. So give me some time, Julie Dad. I'll try it out. You must paint with oils. It sounds like you have lots of experience. Hello, Moose. Everyone's saying hey to Moose. Bob Ross, happy little fissures. Happy little fissures. Yes, they're glowing today. <laughs> um, so with just black, and your medium sized brush, we're gonna try to paint in some of these fissure, fissure formations. You went to art college, right on. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> you're probably way more gifted than I am. Um, I just have my own style, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm happy with my style. It's just not super advanced. It's very impressionistic, shall we say. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna, I, things are still wet. I'm not gonna care. I'm gonna go ahead and put these little black formations down and see how the mixing actually goes. It might be cool. So I'm actually keeping my brush at a horizontal angle, this nice thin, um, thin brush. I'm keeping it horizontal so that I can pull the paint down and then go out to the edge with the thin point of that edge. And then you can fill in. Some of these fissures have kind of like a, a mirror of that shape underneath. So we'll give that a shot. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? I'm doing that from memory. Up close. I'm 
not too shabby. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Dilly Dad. This, that is looking great, Maddie. Well, I thank you, Miss. You make me want to paint again. Oh, wow, what a nice compliment. <laughs> you should, I hope you do. Is it a matter of like space, time? What is it? Because I always wonder what keeps people from doing things that they really enjoy. Um, maybe the enjoyment was lost from it. You know, maybe you had to paint for other people for a while and that's sure a good way to um, take the joy out of something. The light fissure planets look amazing with the new bloom lighting. I know, right? That's like why I wanted to do this today because when I pull this tape away, it's just gonna be like, <laughs> I'm really, really excited. I still sculpt, oh, right on, awesome. Sculpting is something that I have only semi-attempted. I did a little bit of claymation as a kid um, for fun. And I did actually do claymation figures of all of the members of NSYNC. <laughs> You know what, I wanna do a, a stream one day where I just give you guys a tour of some of my like projects, just things I have laying around from the past. That'd be hilarious. Um, and yeah, so like sculpting with clay and things like that, it's fun. Uh, I just haven't spent a lot of time like learning the techniques for how to make things really, really amazing looking. Um, I have recently discovered I enjoy needle felting, which is kind of like sculpting, but sculpting with wool. Um, never thought it was something that I would be good at, but it's cool. I, I think sculpting with wool is, is, if I'm a sculptor at all, that's my medium. <laughs> Don't forget to smoosh that like, y'all. Thanks for the shout, Moose. Excellent, please do. So yeah, we'll throw some more of these fissures on here. I'm not sure what happened to that one, guys. It's kind of strangely shaped, but I'm gonna go with it. Might be able to fix it a little bit here. There we go. I think that's a little more the right shape. <laughs> I sculpt pumpkins at Halloween. Check out my Twitter. I'm Jilly Dad there too. Ooh, I will. That's awesome. Dude, You, ugh, some of the pumpkin stuff that people do is incredible. It's incredible. Wow, I cannot wait. I'm totally gonna check out your pumpkins.
it's sort of hard to do things that are symmetrical. <laughs> you, you can't worry about it too much. And the best advice I can give is to start smaller than you think it needs to be so that if you overextend an edge that then, you know, you add more paint and it's harder to take paint away than it is to um, put more on. Though, again, with acrylic, you can let it dry. Uh, you know, if these edges aren't quite the way I want them to be, we can let this dry and come back in with purple or blue and, uh, you know, make make a little extra one of these to cover up what you didn't like, you know. So there's lots of possibilities. Every mistake's an opportunity for redesign and yeah, don't stress. <laughs> So yeah, we've got one, two more to do before we can pull some tape away, which is kind of like the funnest part of doing this sort of technique. All right, let's take off the tape. Oh, whoa, man, this is looking amazing. What do you guys think? <laughs> Symmetry is hard, Jilly Dad. Oh, <laughs> like getting sideburns even. That's how the Mohawk was invented. <laughs> That's really good. I like that a lot. Just one guy just going, ah, 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 all the way up. Wow, you guys, this is looking so good. I don't even want to touch it anymore. <laughs> I'm loving it. But what you could do at this point is add a few more wispies, um, like over the areas you already have some, maybe on top of places you don't. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. Hey, Day Avanti. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for coming in with Oreos. 
all right so like this this wispiness action could come over your your formations so they're not all in front they could have some of the wispies in front You could also, if you wanted within the light fissures to do with this light blue, just a little flex of it. You don't want to do too much going on, but they really are kind of like bright, bright white near the formation. And then they become a little more blue as they go up. So with this light blue, you can go into where you pulled off the tape and somewhere right around an inch away from the, the fissure itself. Uh, start to pepper in little flecks of that light blue and then use the light blue to help phase it out at the end. So I'll show you that up close. See how we just flecked it in there? So I'm gonna try that with each one of these. And you guys can barely see it from that far away. And all of the little flecks that I'm putting down, uh, we start at the bottom of the fleck and brush up and sort of um, lift the pressure from your wrist as you go up so that the tail end is getting thinner and wispier.
you know, as they as they went along, I think they got better. I like my last ones better than my first one. I did a little more dry brushing as I went along. And that's why we had our white. We haven't used the white yet. These were all made from just putting tape down and removing it. So I'm gonna just grab a tiny bit of white to refresh this first light fissure that I added the blue to. And that's an option for you too. If you want to go back into your tape or there's edges of the tape that um, weren't um, smoothed down enough to that some of your paint bled in from the edges, just go back through when it's dry with some white and you can spruce it up. even doing some little whiskey white coming out the top. Softening the little blue marks that you made. Yeah, now they really look like they're just ooh, glowing. Let me get you a little close-up action on that. There you have it. A quick and easy light fissure planet painting. Yay! Well, guys, jar darn tootin'. Oh, Kev, how you doing? That's a pretty picture you're painting there. Why, thank you, sir. I do appreciate that. And uh, good to see you. <laughs> sweet. Meow, meow, ten. How are you, sweet? Good to see you. Visiting the sister-in-law, so just popping in to smoosh the like. Dave Auntie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it looks great. Sorry I'm late. This is beautiful. It's all good. You know what? This was a really quick one. I started around 120, so we've done this in an hour. Um, and, and we're going to keep it that simple. If you were doing this again or um, from the beginning, you could do a bunch more pieces of tape, thinner pieces that you could do like so they looked like they were more in the distance. Uh, the inspiration photo, you got to go into the Discord and check it out because it's just gorgeous. Thank you, Magic Within, wherever you are for posting this. Because, yeah, the new lighting update made these fissure planets just so freaking gorgeous. You know, and honestly, like, I might even try to do one of these again with a few other techniques. Something slightly different. Uh, this one's real basic, super quick. Um, if we were going to go for longer, I might have started differently, like, you could do a whole gradient with that light blue down into white and wait for that to dry. Then put down your tape and do all the dark stuff on top, pull the tape off, and you would get that gorgeous uh, light fissure gradient with the light blue going down into white because your background started that way. I totally might have to do this again and, and show it like that. Um, but this one's simple. Like when we started this whole thing, these paintings were meant to be able to be done by things you had just lying around your house. So back to our roots, we grabbed some duct tape and this is what we made today, you guys. So thank you for joining me. It's been a good one. 
Oh man, I just can't even believe how cool this turned out. I'm very excited. Uh, they, these are probably even brighter than they ought to be. It's, it's really like, if you look at the picture, there's a lot more blue up at the top than I've put in here, but that's because I wanted them to be so shockingly bright. By the way, you look freaking gorgeous, Mads. Oh my, thank you. If only I had time to do this all the time. I just don't. <laughs> um, I had to get, I would have to get up earlier and I love sleep. So I don't know, who knows? Habits just start with day one, right? So if she were outside, butterflies would be fluttering about her. <laughs> oh, okay, that's so sweet. Oh man, you guys are the best. It's been so lovely having you. And those of you who jumped here in the last minute, don't worry about it. I normally go so much longer, um, but it's a quick one today. And that's just the way it's going to be. Till next week, Thursdays, 1 o'clock, I do my No Man's Sky inspired paintings. And you could be my inspiration. So check out that Discord link. Post in the NMS Screenshots channel. And I hope to see you there. And uh, what else is going on? Meow Meow 10, are you streaming a scary stream tonight? Ooh. I hope so. I like being scared. And uh, then Dimash will have his late night decompression. KH Key wheeled in stream this evening. So I'll be around. Might shout out you guys. Mmm, KH. Oh, you're playing KH tonight. <gasps> you mean we get double header KH, Mammo 10, and Dimash Smash? <laughs> That's great. How cool. Uh, haha, <laughs> nice. 8 p.m. Okay, so that's 6 p.m. my time. 6 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Central time. KH with Meow Meow 10. This is, this is hilarious. I can't wait to watch that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, Dimash will be probably starting his stream around 10 p.m. Pacific time. So, four hours after Meow Meow. More KH from the KH a guru <laughs> himself. Thunder! <laughs> that's right. That's right, Moose. You guys, I gotta go get a glass of wine. Um, thanks for letting me just do this quick and simple painting today. You know, these, these pieces of tape are now art. No, they're garbage. Um, yeah. Any questions? You guys, you guys have anything for me? You gotta go. So do I. Meow meow. <laughs> so I'll see you later. And thank you for popping by. Say hi to the old sis for me. Um, yeah. If you guys haven't checked it out, to um, somewhere in my Discord and the announcements, I think is the um, preview trailer for the play that I've been directing. The thing that's been keeping me away from commenting on permadeath all the time or like right away. Um, and why I actually have to cut today a little bit shorter because I gotta go type up some stuff for my cameraman. Uh, but we're doing an entirely virtually presented theater production so that even if you don't live where I live, you can actually see the play I just directed. It's coming up, opens July 31st, and we're running Fridays and Saturdays for three weekends, going live on YouTube, live theater on YouTube. <laughs> it's super fun, and I'm super proud of it. So I hope you guys will uh, give a like and a subscribe to Barnstormers Theater and check out my show. It's really funny. It's one of those old-fashioned melodramas where there's a villain and you boo and you cheer and you aww. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's going to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. So no matter where you are in the world, you'll be able to see that. And I hope you do. So take care for now. <laughs> you got it, old Kev. You are down. You are ready. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. I love you guys. Please be well and I'll see you soon.